Hey guys, Jessica Beck here with another helpful video to improve your next IELTS results. Uh, remember, if you want the complete system of strategies, check out our online IELTS course available immediately. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. All right, let's get into today's lesson. We are talking about your attitude and your vocabulary on your IELTS speaking exam. Now, if you are constantly negative on the IELTS exam, for example, if you keep repeating the word boring, or you say don't like too many times, or terrible, right? If you repeat this negative vocabulary, first of all, it's bad for your vocabulary score because you are repeating the same words, but also it puts you and the examiner in a negative frame of mind, okay? If you are able to approach things in a positive way, this does impact the way you are speaking. It does impact your vocabulary, your fluency, and most of all, your pronunciation, all right? If you listen to people who are talking about something boring, who feel bored, or are talking about things they don't like, their intonation is flat. It's boring itself, okay? So stay positive, stay interested. You can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can still be honest, but most of all, be positive. Okay, so how can we do that? The strategy is to change the focus, all right? That's today's strategy, change the focus. So pay attention to how I do this today and also take note on the interesting vocabulary phrases that I use. Okay, so for example, guys, what if the speaking examiner asks you about uh, riding bicycles? Okay, what if you really don't like bicycles? That's okay, that's okay. Just don't talk about how boring they are or how terrible they are or how much you don't like them, no. Okay, this is what you can say instead. You can say, uh, I am not a bicycle kind of gal, but what does delight me are motorcycles. Okay, I love the feel of the wind through my hair and feeling like a rock star dressed in leather on a Harley. <laughs> okay, so that would be the way to positively change the focus, okay? So honestly say you don't like it, but then change to positive ideas and vocab, okay? The notable phrases there, um, I'm not a bicycle kind of gal or kind of guy, and then what does delight me is da da da, okay? So good vocab, good structures, positive, impactful, impressive. Okay, let's get into one more example before we finish today. So um, what if, <laughs> this happens a lot. What if you're asked about reading books or novels? You know, I realize a lot of people don't come from the cultural background that I do where that is a given. Like, everybody in my family reads novels. So what if that's not your thing? That's fine, okay? But I can tell you, it probably is the examiner's thing. <laughs> so don't, don't be negative about something the examiner likes, right? Okay, so how do we do this? You can say, um, <laughs> this is a great phrase, you guys. I know this may not be the sort of quote unquote educated response, but what I do get a kick out of are comic books. Okay, so again, okay, just let's look at this. I know this may not be the sort of quote unquote educated response, but I just can't get into novels. What I do get a kick out of is comic books. They are an art form in and of themselves. Okay, so guys, all as always, below this video, I will type out all these phrases um, and explain what they mean. So please practice using this these when you change the focus in your own IELTS answers and stay positive. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.